<laughs> we made it. The scramble is over. <laughs> And the views are coming. Uh, the views are amazing. I think uh, we might have a problem then. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lavi and this is Oli. Over the past four years we have been on some epic adventures around the world. Now, after converting an old van into our new home on wheels, we are ready to hit the road and explore the wonders of Europe. Click the subscribe button to follow our journey and let the adventure begin! Hello! Hello! <laughs> it's like a cow, it's like a cow minefield! <laughs> Good morning world! Welcome to our Odyssey! So yesterday we made our way out of Mostar and towards the Dinaric Alps, a mountain range on the eastern border of Bosnia and Herzegovina. This morning we are here in the Sujeska National Park, home to the tallest mountain in Bosnia and Herzegovina. But this is not the only reason this place is so special. It is also home to the Perichica Rainforest. One of the oldest and best preserved rainforests in Europe, the Perichica is home to over 170 species of trees and shrubs and over 1,000 species of herbaceous plants. And also the highest waterfall in Bosnia and Herzegovina, Skakovac waterfall, over 70 meters high. But today, we are going to be taking you guys on a hike deep into the Dinaric Alps to experience the stunning and relatively unknown nature that this country has to offer. So I would say, let's go! The road to our starting point where we start the hike is absolutely insane. It's like sort of a um, four-wheel drive dirt road with a lot of stones. Our van is so low and we hit all the time our uh, petrol tank or the exhaust or I don't know, like I'm a little bit worried. <laughs> So we just parked up and look at this amazing parking spot at the beginning of the trail. It's unbelievable. It's so beautiful. It's really, really insane. Such a stunning panorama. So we're just in the process of unpacking Red Tornado and uh, converting our camper van setup into a hiking setup. Woo! <laughs> We've hit the hiking trail. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> so it should be a quite easy hike. The sun is shining and it's a beautiful day. 
So it's about five kilometers on this trail until we reach this lake that sits just under the tallest mountain in Bosnia and it's called Tronovako Lake. And that is where we're gonna be camping tonight. Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> minutes into the trail and look at these views. So we just went past this group that were on a guided tour and the tour guide showed us two really useful things for tonight. <laughs> We've got here, this is a wild oregano which grows here in the mountains and we can chuck that in our couscous tonight. And we've also got some sorrels or sorrel, not sure how you pronounce it. And that's got a really uh, sour taste, but mm. it's uh, rich on vitamins, so mm. tastes very nice. So we can eat a couple of those later on. And <laughs> <laughs> yes! make a really nice dinner with some local wild ingredients. I love it. <laughs> So this national park, the Suchieska National Park, encompasses a vast mountain area just on the border of Montenegro and over 66% of the park is covered by forest. We'll actually be crossing the border to Montenegro before we reach our lake camp for the night and then we'll be entering the Piva Nature Park. In this area, there is also a crazy amount of wildlife, including chamois, deer, wild boar, bears, foxes, lynxes, wildcats. It's awesome. Hello, I think uh, we might have a problem then. <laughs> okay, so we actually arrived here at the lake, um, but we did not realize that there was actually a sort of border here with a sort of checkpoint. Um, and they wanted some documents from us and they wanted uh, also an entrance fee for this park which is separate to the Sutjeska National Park that we were in before because this is now the Pivo Nature Park and we have zero money with us yeah we've absolutely brought no passports no documentation no money nothing at all yes. so we sort of just was sitting around here and he's going around and doing stuff and they ate some food here, so I'm not sure, maybe we have to like chop some wood for the, him or something. He's alone here in this like remote mountain hut here, and I was told that he sort of on and off is staying up here for six months a year, 
and he works for the Piva National Park. He's coming back, so let's see what's going to happen. So he said it's all right to pitch up the tent here, which I'm really thankful for. He said we could camp down here by the lake, which looks like an absolutely beautiful place to camp for the night. Look at this surroundings. But, but yeah, we're really, really thankful that we were able to actually stay here for the night. Otherwise we would have had to hike all the way back out to the van. So um, yeah, really lucky actually. So let's get pitched with our tent. Okay, so we have a little bit of a problem in that one of our tent poles is broken. And we only just realized this. Now, we're just trying to figure out how we can get this to be sturdy and hold the tent up. So we've taken some tape from our windshield and a peg, and we're gonna to try to make a splint and see if this works. Sort of like a pole sheath. Okay, so that is our splint from a peg and some foot some tape. Some really, really old foot tape. So, this is our home for the night. Cozy! It's <laughs> beautiful. here as always <laughs> We've had a very relaxing afternoon. I did a bit of reading. Levy did a walk around the lake. It was very, very nice to relax here in this beautiful, beautiful place. Yeah, you just want to spend time looking around, taking in the nature. It's so beautiful. It's really nice. So now we're just cooking up some dinner. We've gone back to our trail food days, our hiking food days, and we have for dinner tonight, some couscous and then we prepared some um, pesto and some dry tomatoes I put them bo both just in in the tapa here look at that and top that off with some sweet corn <laughs> so that'll make a really nice couscous meal yummy <laughs> et voila <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> yummy <laughs> coffees here it was a surprisingly rough night actually it was not actually as peaceful as you would imagine <laughs> no. we're sleeping at about 1500 meters so it was really 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 cold mm -hmm. even though we had jumpers even though we had sleeping bags that are supposed to be comfortable until five degrees um, it was really cold mm -hmm. and then at about Midnight, 12.30, a huge group of people arrived mm -hmm. and just started setting up tents all around us and chatting and making a fire and playing music from a speaker and it was, uh, <laughs> it was quite surreal. Everything was nice and then suddenly as soon as the sun went down everyone just went crazy. <laughs> There's a lot of night activity. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> well that's that, I mean the sun's risen now so it's time to drink a coffee and then it's 
time to hit the trail. <laughs> Yes, and our tent is over on the other side of this lake now. And uh, I didn't actually tell you about this lake. Um, this is called Lake Tronovachko. That's my best pronunciation I can do. And uh, it's 700 meters long and 400 meters wide and lies at an elevation of 1,517 meters above sea level, which is why it was so cold last night. <laughs> But up here behind us, this is the star of the show, and this is what we're here for. This is Mount Maglich, and it is 2,386 meters high, and represents the border, the exact border, between Bosnia and Herzegovina and Montenegro. And that is the mountain that we're going to climb. Yippee! So, after the lake, the trail goes up, 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 and now we are climbing. And the lake is already far down behind us. Yeah, we're having awesome views from here already. We are just 30 minutes into the hike, and it's just incredible. Oh yeah, yeah. keep on going up. up here you can actually see that the lake is the same shape as a heart which is really nice <laughs> taking a break we're about two hours in now and um, we've just left Lake Tronovachko behind it was down back that way and now we are heading this way that way and we're out of that valley now and we can we have a brand new view of loads of beautiful mountains the mountain shepherds we were told down there that they take their cows up all around these mountains because it's cheap pasture so they can just roam with their cows for the whole summer up and all around all the mountains living in these like little shepherds huts yeah, that feeds their cows pretty much for free for the whole summer we also got some popcorn <laughs> yeah the guy in the mountain hut um, the guy who let us stay last night it was a really really nice guy and uh, this morning gave us some popcorn, which is really nice. Mm. Our mm. mountain cinema with our mountain snack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so anyway, three k's more to go and an elevation from about 300 meters. Mount Maglich, here we come. <laughs> We have just sighted the peak, Maglich, just here. But actually, this place where we are right now is actually two meters higher than the peak. <laughs> but because this is over the border in Montenegro, where we are right now, it's not really anything special. Whereas once you get to that peak, then you're at the highest mountain in Bosnia, even though it's two meters lower but it looks like a really serious scramble at the end. So 
We're gonna go up close to it and see if we feel like it's within our capabilities to get to the top. Getting really close now. Have a look. Just up there. You can see the flag. Nearly there. We've reached the part which is pretty much going to be scrambling from here. Have a look. You can't really see more. You have to take now uh, step by step and just hope that you don't <laughs> don't crush her. <laughs> we made it! <laughs> the scramble is over and the views are coming. Uh, the views are amazing. <laughs> yeah. Here is the top of the mountain. Because this is a really like small peak on its own, you really have a 360 degree panorama around you. And now we can just relax, take the views in, enjoy, rest a little bit. And we can still see the lake where we started today, all the way down the bottom there. Unbelievable. Yeah, it's a real jam. <laughs> Wow, the Dinaric Alps are absolutely incredible. It's been so, so nice chilling out here at the summit of Mount Maglich. It's amazing and totally different to our experience at Snowdon. If you haven't seen our video climbing Snowdon, then you can check that one out here. But um, yeah, I mean, look, we're totally, we're totally alone here at the peak, the tallest mountain in Bosnia. Yeah. But, we still have a long way to go to get back to Red Tornado. We have about five kilometers to get back to the camp, pack up that, and then about another five kilometers through the valley until we get to Red Tornado. So, so better get moving. Yeah. That was terrifying. I hate it when you can see all the way down, like half a kilometer, just straight down in front of you. It's like, oh my God, down the hardest part. You know, I really was not sure when we came and saw that peak behind us, I was not sure we would be able to get up there, to be honest. We don't have a huge amount of skill in mountain climbing, but we made it up, we made it down, and it was awesome. Often you don't even need skill, you just need to be brave. <laughs> <laughs> it's the last time for today that we have this awesome view. 
can really see the heart shape from here. Awesome. So from here on, it's really steep down. <laughs> and I can still see our tent from here. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> this was actually harder than going up. <laughs> yeah, because we were under the crazy sun the whole time. It was really hot. Really tough. And in the morning it was so nice and cool. But look where we are. <sighs> we have arrived back at the tent. We have done the downhill. We came from all the way up there. That's not even the peak, but that's just where we came out of the valley but wow what a crazy journey that is crazy that is crazy well we're picking up now and then we have another 5k to the van yeah the journey's not over just yet so let's do it <laughs> Just like that, packed up and ready to hit the road. <laughs> to the van, to Red Tornado! <laughs> oh, good, good. Way! Way! <laughs> Woo! It's amazing. Even after 10 hours of walking, you still don't get tired of this view. You can see the sun is just about to set behind the mountains. We have a couple more k's to go until we get to the van, but still very pretty. Ha! Oh, this is it. This is the end of the road. It, here it is, the tornado. Oh my god. Uh, oh. I'm so glad <laughs> to be back here. Back home. Absolutely. And still with the beautiful mountain views here. And this is where we'll be spending the night inside Red Tornado. A lot less cold, a lot more cozy. I'm very looking forward to that. So we're just going to cook up some dinner now. <laughs> So that is it from our mountaineering exploration and wild camping in the Bosnian Alps. It has been a crazy adventure. I am absolutely dead. <laughs> Same. <laughs> but we really hope you enjoyed following along on our adventure. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We will see you next time. Oh yeah. If you enjoyed watching this video, you would help us a lot by subscribing to the channel by clicking here. Thanks so much for watching guys, we will see you next time.